So what we're going to do today is we're going to process this stop chamfer. So you can hear, you can see I have it marked between here and here. So firstly, what I'm going to do is I'm using my eight mil chisel, my twelve mil even. Sorry, I'm going to slice down into the piece just before the triangulation part here and here. I'm going to do the same. Now, so once I've done that, my next part is to remove the middle section, stopping before the two triangle parts at each end. Now, how I like to do this is put my hand over it as I feel I have more control and take off a small bit at a time. Take it nice and slowly, especially coming up towards the end. I'm going to continue this process, removing small amounts every time. So nice and slowly. Now as you can see, I'm not sure if it's clear on the camera, but I've actually taken off more from this side than I have the other side. The reason being is because I'm working in this direction. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to swing around and I'm going to work in the opposite. And it's important to keep an eye on the two lines also to ensure that you're within them and that you're creating the correct angle. Now, so looking at this now, it is very smooth and it is equally between the two lines. So I just need to continue what I'm doing. Again, I'll work from the other side. Take it nice and slowly. Now, so the final part to do then is to remove the little triangle part at the end of the chamfer. So how I'll do this is move nice and slowly because this piece here is now finished and if the chisel were to slip it would put an indentation on it so as I come to the end I can just shake it a little bit just to put it through Now, so this side is done, I have to do this side also, but this side is done. And just to show you there, the triangle part is completed. This part, the middle part is smooth, and I've yet to finish this part. But that's how to process a stop chamfer.